Today we are talking about ASP.NET performance counters. Performance counters are one of the best features of the Microsoft development platform. From ASP.NET to .NET to IS and everything in between, there's an amazing amount of performance counters available to you to help monitor the performance of your applications and troubleshoot problems with them. But they can be very tricky to deal with, and we're going to talk about a few of the challenges and how you can solve them. So first off, let me kind of show you some basics about performance counters. I'm going to open up Run and go to Perfmon on my local computer. So I jump over to the performance counters, so go to Add Counters, and I'll show you some of the challenges that you're going to have. I'm going to pick a, a, one of the basic categories, so let's go for ASP.NET applications. So you'll see here, uh, this is the category. There's a bunch of different metrics that are available in here. Uh, some of them are maybe a little weird, some of them are, are very useful. So for example, if you want to know how many requests per second your application is getting, that's a really good one that you should probably track. And the way this works is you pick the counter and the metric, and then down here you have to pick the instance. So this is the name of my instance on my local machine I'm doing this demo from. But if I had a bunch of applications, there could be a bunch of different instances in here. And the names of these are pretty cryptic. So this is a uh, W3SVC is in reference to IIS, and one is the site number and root is it's you know the root uh, folder and then it's in a, a sub application called ops manager um, so depending on how you name things all that stuff these these are very different and that's part of what makes uh, performance counters difficult to deal with uh, from one server to another or from one application to another is the naming of them I'll give you another example here let me go down to the bottom and pick some things that are more related to your application pool so w3svc w3wp W3WP, as, as you probably know, is the IS application pool. That's the you know, W3WP.exe is the name of that process when it runs. There's a lot of good uh, counters available in here as well, including the number of requests per second. But this would be the number of requests per second for everything in your application pool versus what we were just looking at was the number of requests per second for your specific application. And you can have multiple applications that run in the same application pool. So, depending on what you're trying to do, there's different ways to do this in different counters, and they have these different instant names down here. So, if you're trying to use some sort of monitoring tool and configuring it to monitor these metrics for your application, it can be really kind of tricky. So, if you are a Stackify customer, if you use Retrace, um, good news is we, we take care of a lot of this complexity that happens under the hood. Within our system, you can go into the monitoring configuration. So I'm going to go over here, I've, I've picked this, this application, I'm going to go into configure to configure my monitoring, and we group the things into four different buckets. So we've got things that are related to your IIS site, the application pool, uh, and then your specific application itself. Those same counters are all available in here, but under the hood, when we do the monitoring, we figure out which performance counter instance to use, the name of it, some of that complexity, it's all just taken care of. And this works for all of these different counters. I could configure one of these in here, uh, configure some warning threshold, so send me an alert if I get more than 10 requests per second. Uh, maybe it's a really big problem if it's more than 1,000 or whatever you want to do. Maybe it's a big deal if it's less than 100, like if I get no traffic. Um, and then we can send emails and text messages and all that stuff. But the key thing is I can configure this and it will potentially uh, apply this monitoring for one server or 10. It'll just do it to all of them. Uh, and you can even uh, do that across data centers, environments, regions, all that stuff. So it's, it makes it very easy to use .NET performance counters and use them for all of your different applications. I hope you learned a little bit about performance counters and thank you for watching.